I am Leonardo Barri. Uh, I am from Córdoba capital, Argent Argentina, but I have been living in Buenos Aires the last 10 years. Uh, yes, uh, thanks. Uh, well, in 2001, uh, my grandfather started to, to talk to me about his experience in tango when he danced in the 30s. Uh, he explained me a lot of things about tango and that uh, create curiosity in me. Uh, I start to wonder what that tango means. So first, I, in that moment, I was in Cordoba. So I went to a tango lesson and I realized that was something very deep, uh, very connected with my, my relatives and with my culture. So in that moment, uh, was like a very surprising to me when I started to dance tango because uh, before I was in another war like sport war, university, doing other type of activities but when I started to dance tango I feel that they, they fit me um, um, later I started to go to Buenos Aires in 2003 in order to go deeper in tango because I know from my mother and from my grandfather that uh, tango was particular from Buenos Aires. So in 2003, in the first World War, War, Championship, War Championship, I went there to know what is tango uh, more deeper and I got in love in that moment with tango. So for six years, I traveled to Cordoba from to Buenos Aires to take some lesson because in that moment was a hobby for me but was going deeper and deeper and to practice so I saved some money working in different things like for three or four months and go one week to Buenos Aires to teach with different masters. Um, but well in that the latest trip when I start to come back to Cordoba always I was crying <laughs> because I, I would love to stay more time in Buenos Aires to feel what it means to live in Buenos Aires because tango is a ex cultural expression that uh, live in Buenos Aires. You can breathe in Buenos Aires when you walk, when you move around, not just when you are taking a lesson in all the milongas and the diversity you have in Buenos Aires. So in 2009, I decided to, to move to Buenos Aires uh, in order to become a, a better professional because in 2006 in Cordoba I entered in a Latin dance company where I danced salsa, tango, folklore, brasileiro, different dance so in that moment I started to, to work like in a professional way like a dancer uh, but uh, to go a professional tango dancer I decide to continue my career in my career in Buenos Aires. So that was the reason that I moved there and I start to, to work in, tango, in dinner tango shows, also to take lessons with great masters, with great milongueros, um, and well, pass through different teachers in order to make a process uh, in, in my own feelings, because tango is a social dance and you need to pass all that no knowledge for your filter, for your inside filters, to start to find your own tango. Well, uh, my parents, they don't dance. <laughs> uh, my father is doctor and my mother is teacher in university. Uh, they don't influence me directly in dance. Dance was something that I really liked when I was a child in the parties to dance, but uh, they don't introduce me into dance. Uh, just my mom, uh, once, once she told me that there was a salsa teacher in her gym, <laughs> and she thought that the personality of the teacher was very similar to mine, so she said, why you don't come to, to learn some salsa? Um, because I'm very curious, I say, okay, let's go. <laughs> and that was the, how I start to dance, uh, salsa in particular, like couple dance. Um, but they don't involve in dance. I am from Cordoba. Cordoba in the party we have a popular dance that we call Cuarteto. And it's a couple dance and it's like merengue, very, very nice dance, very funny. 
And I did that for na natural, like I was with my friend and, and I started to dance. But to make uh, enter in this deep world, like it means tango, I think maybe my grandfather with uh, her opinion, of, his opinion about tango, uh, like he, how can I say, um, he introduced me something in me inside uh, to look for tango. Uh, but also about my parents, once per, per year we went to Buenos Aires to see the cultural activity in Buenos Aires, theater, musician, uh, plays, and I think that also helped because it's connected with, with tango, that diversity, that uh, root from, from poetry, from uh, music for dance, like it's a it's an artistic expression. So I, I think that that situation to always on holiday go to Buenos Aires, maybe in an unconscious way, uh, help me to connect more with tango later. Yeah. Well, uh, my first teacher in Cordoba was Alberto. Uh, he's an old milonguero. Uh, he has already died. Uh, but he really liked a lot uh, Osvaldo Soto and Miguel Angel Soto. So he explained me a lot of things about walking and a lot of a step of that style, Soto style. Uh, that was my first teacher. But then I, I started to travel to Buenos Aires and I started to meet different, different teachers. In the beginning, I take with a lot of teachers, but obviously, uh, later I decided to teach with some of them. Um, my first uh, teacher was Julio Balmaceda and Corina de la Rosa. I always uh, traveled from Cordoba to Buenos Aires to take some workshop with them. Uh, was really helpful to, to dance in the milonga because they explained me a lot of things to dance in small places uh, with that idea of spiral that they really work about it was uh, really good for me. Uh, but then I moved to another teacher because I feel that I have a different body from Julio and I learned from them for two years. So I decided it was a moment to change my teachers. And I started to, to learn with uh, Gabriel Angio and Natalia Gámez because they are like a library of tango. Uh, and I was with a lot of questions about the, um, the behind of tango, the old master. So some friend recommend me that teacher and I start to, to learn or to research. I think it's not only learn, it's like a research in the tango dance in all different milongueros. And I got a, a, a really interesting process uh, to know uh, milongueros like Lampaso, Todaro, um, like Pupi, and, and other great milongueros, uh, because Gabriel and Natalia studied with them. And their particular teacher was Mingo Pugliese, so I learned a lot of things through uh, Gabriel and Natalia about Mingo Pugliese, like the Giro, El Giro de Ocho, and other things very interesting, because was some structure to understand a lot of things of tango was a really good process. And later, I make another change uh, to Graciela Gonzalez. Graciela Gonzalez is a great master who is uh, dedicated like more than 30 or 40 years teaching tango. And he danced a lot of time with Pupi, who was a great, great milonguero. So Graciela teach me or try to help me in connecting more with the natural or the social way of tango and the importance of the embrace, the importance or to walk and embrace in the more natural way because uh, we already know how to walk and how to hug. Uh, we just need to put all that feeling in, in the tango and to release all your emotions. So with Graciela, I think Instead to learn a step, I learned other aspects of the social dance of tango. Well, it's a really interesting uh, question. Uh, 
I define my style like I am, because I think in tango your style is how you feel tango inside you. So I don't copy anybody, I just uh, learn different tools from different masters and also I, I grow in maturity and in a lot of things. So for me the, my style is the same like in my life because I, I do what I feel inside. I could define, uh, I, I don't like to put a tag to my style. I, I think that I try to, to be flexible, to adapt to the lady who I am dancing in that moment, to try to feel the music, to make a nice hug, and to play and enjoy the moment. Um, for me, is, is that uh, the way, obviously I try to have a, like an elegant way because I, I like that also. Uh, but I, I just uh, transmit uh, my personality. I think your style is connected with how you feel tango. Um, I try to, to do that. Continuing growing with my level, continuing growing in my quality of the dance, like a dancer and like a teacher. So my plan is continuing taking lessons, giving lessons, uh, rehearsal, going to the milonga, it's to go deeper in tango because I think in tango you put your own roof and I am a person who doesn't like the limits so I decide to don't put me limits, just go forward and forward uh, and for that I need to invest more money and time, uh, that is one of the reasons that I travel around uh, but also to new, new cultures because uh, nowadays tango is spread around the world uh, and as a social dance I think it's, it's really important to understand that uh, people who dance tango could be obviously there are professional but there are a lot of people who are not professional and they are like a hobby so it's important to be an open mind person and trying to go deeper, not only in the technique point of view, also in the pedagogical uh, point of view, and knowledge of your body, knowledge of the music, of the poetry, uh, like to be an artist, because it's the artist's work, but also connecting the emotion with that, and not only the rational part of, of your mind. Well, uh, from a student here in Korea, the ideas in common, they are for me, hardworking, uh, they like to practice, they like tango, so I, I feel that really, really good, uh, very respectful people, and they try to really to enjoy, to forget a little about uh, his job or his stressful or her stressful, uh, to look a hug, a nice hug, to try to, to enjoy it and have fun. So I, I really love, I'm very glad to, to be here uh, teaching from Korean people because I think they really listen to me and at least they, they try and they respect and value my, my experience and my knowledge and I feel really comfortable uh, how they, they put all the effort to do exercise or to dance or try to understand maybe another culture because uh, tango is from Buenos Aires and the, our day in Buenos Aires is different, like here is different, the food, the weather, the, the genetic of the people, the attitude, we have a lot of difference but I think there is the interesting because tango could make some bridge between, between the different and it's a good way uh, to connect with the heart and the soul of, of the people. That, that I think. Bueno, extraño mucho Buenos Aires, mis amigos de Buenos Aires, eh, la comida, la carne eh, y las milongas. Eh, la verdad que Buenos Aires es una ciudad muy amigable, muy cosmopolita, de una mente muy abierta y que respira tango día a día, así que bueno, les mando un saludo, los extraño mucho y después a mi familia y a mis amigos en Córdoba, eh, bueno, los extraño horrores, a mis sobrinos en particular, eh, que los amo profundamente. Bueno, eso. <risa> Gracias.